so far has been a bit rocky, has been a bit rough, but there's still so much promise that this roster can bring up and live up to. So this laning stage is probably going to give us a bit of an indicator of how things are going to be kicking off. I think in the lanes is where Secret should really strive here, as you do have the Bloodseeker, which is quite good against the Beastmaster. It's going to depend a lot on supports, as always, for the laning stage, but bot lane should go pretty well, I believe, for Team Secret. Mid lane, the laning stage might go slightly favored for Storm Spirit, but once you get level 6 on Armel here, you just move one hero mid, coil the... 17 CS in this lane, so even if Axe looks and like tofu. he's pretty low on the CS department, he's pretty good. But Tofu is the one to drop first in the bot lane. Getting up a minute or two as we expect that six minute action rune battle. Bottom lane again. Ace really extending the limits here. Power shot connects onto Crystal. It's not onto Puppy though. The Axe is flying in. The range creeps trying to get a couple hits in. And Wind Ranger finally getting a connection. Tofu. But there's no movement speed that's going to save you to build enough distance. And just enough slow and a blood right in the middle could always be a guaranteed connection. So let's see what Ace can do here. Not much by the looks of it. One to one. Axe actually getting a good call here onto Diraccio in the lane. And they've got Puppy coming out from the back as well with the Frost Shield. The souls are there and spin to win. Puppy coming out with that Frost Blast. Extra farm do you get if you're playing an illusion-based hero? You go through the gate, you pop your illusions, and then you go back to the gate with your hero. And you've got illusions pushing one lane, the hero the other. Quinn looking for to kill Puppy. We'll be able to get it. Towards the top lane, it's a three-man gang towards Boom under the tower. They're going to take this one, jump straight on top of it, does get the call off, but it's not really going to give him much more than just a few seconds extra time. Even dropping down the global as they see Secret is corralling towards the rescue. Or at least a bit of vengeance or revenge even in this case. Celery very low on HP, so is Tofu, does get the Nether Blast to suck off onto Tofu. Life Train not going to do quite enough, but just enough for Armel to sneak in. For a trade off kill. How down Storm Spirit is supposed to be feeding the puck. Maybe That's not now, really though. happening. Smoking up towards mid, and the detection is out oh, there, no. but the coil misses. They cannot catch Quinn. He's too fast. But they will take down Celery. Beastmaster and the TV uh, into room. the fray. It's going to be a whole different story. And another support kill. Maybe they can pressure the tier 2 tower with it. Tofu getting to live a bit longer. Global Sun is being used as well. Can't use the donk. It's going to be still available, but Boom is in trouble. Blood Grenade used up by Celery. Queen coming up with a jump as well. Does get the call off and taunts the Storm Spirit for a little bit more. Crystalis can't quite get himself a connection on the Storm. His secret, yeah, I think it's a pretty much uh, 90 degree turn to somewhere else except towards the Roche Pit. Unless they can find them split up on the map. They see the TB in mid. Without the big carry, is there still a fight for them? Quinn, thinking about jumping the puck here. Classic TB just dying. Oh, I did a mistake, boys, but he's got his team now, and he's joining into the fray. Global Silence coming out. Sky Gaming Gladiators looking for their first good team fight, and it opens up with a pup, uh, damage and puppy kill. Both of the supports. Now he's going into the pipe. And I feel like when you finish that, I might try and go. Call. Onto the TV, he's got his blade mail and also trying to get some rupture damage out, but it's just not going to work out, or is it though? It actually is going to be enough for them, and Quinn's going to be dropping low too. He's already out. Celery, his life is going to be forfeit. Double kill for Crystalis. And the coil doesn't quite connect onto anyone here. He dodged. Oh, if the Rachio, he's inside the he's inside the triangle right now. RML does get the coil to connect. He's gonna be stunned up and looks like he's gonna be silenced too. Global silence to save and trying to TP away. Not gonna work out for him. Gaming Gladiators ready for the fight. They don't have the storm, but he can just zap in. And secret, they are revealing their locations. They have all been spotted. They see everyone right now. Baraccio going out for the reflection. And they're still just playing it cool, playing it cool. There's going to be uh, the Frost Shield on cooldown for another eight seconds. And Roshan is being contested at the same time. He's already inside the pit. Duraccio might just be able to sneak this one under the eyes of Secret. Last time they weren't even close. This time they're very nearby and they can't let this one slide. There's a cheese that is waiting. His TV illusions are being an issue. They got the Ancient Black Dragon on the move with that call, but he's just going to be microed back to safety. Roche down to 4,000 HP. How do they you also enter caught this a glimpse a of it. 
The spam I mean, they're so trying. <laughs> they're literally trying. But Quinn trying to go a bit a, a bit annoying here with that jump in. They've got the axe and Durancio pushing out heavy hits onto the axe. He's got that frost shield, but only for an amount of time as he's going to get roared up too. And that might just be Boom going down and he will fall. They've got the coil. Crystal is walking in, but Crystal is... Can they turn it around? Yes, they can. They take the TV and Crystal is on the run. Tofu very low on HP, but Boom coming in with that buyback. Calls and takes down Tofu and Quinn to fall as well. Hunted down by Armel, and Ace will be the next one to potentially drop the call. It's off cooldown. Yes, it is. Just in time. And Gaming Gladiators, they will lose a lot. Secret. This Grandmaster Puck, like I said at the start of the game, I rarely see him fail. And this is, yet again, another of those examples where he's just playing really good, solid Puck gameplay. Crystalis, though, I was just talking about the guy. He might end up losing his Aegis, but he's got a BKB. And the Global Silence, they're actually allowed to disengage. Gaming Gladiators, how do you go back in? The or Rock can you even? a little trouble here. Rock right, up on safe. the spot. But he used meta for this. This is a commitment. Oh, and the call comes out from Boom as well. Can't really get this TV to move. Armel coming in with a three-man coil. Crystal is moving in. He's trying to get some hits in, but he will pop his Aegis. And now forcing Gaming Gladiators onto the high ground. The Illusory Orb onto the back line. Queen coming in with a jump into the middle. Gets the Hex out onto the Axe. And Duraccio isolated. TV has no friends. This demon. And Jump there from Armel. Boom also loading up that call, but he's gonna have his blink cancelled. They got the jump of the Bloodseeker. They still want to take down either Boom or Crystalis. They no and damage. they're taking hits onto Quinn. But what are they? Would they well, how can they even kill this Bloodseeker? There's so many buffs going their way. Storm's already low. Silence top of the back. Frost Blast. Frost Jade jumping back and forth. And Quinn down. And that's gonna be Deroxio to fall. Secret. Looks like they've got this game handed out to them as they finish off a third. And it's just two heroes remaining on the side of Gaming Gladiators. Just no damage. They're trying to blow up Crystalis, but to no avail. Yeah, they... One thing that I've been considering a bit during these team fights is, is there a way Gwyn could just jump the back line, locate the Lich, but they really just... Okay, there we go. He's got the Lich targeted right now, but he's going to get silenced up too. Has a jump available, but the silence comes out just in time. And Gaming Gladiators is going to be a costly fight for them. Might just cost them the game. The Sunder onto the Bloodseeker. Crystalis goes down. They've got the Sunder efficiently used offensively this time, but Secret's not giving up. Armel still hunting in the back line, looking for the Celery kills to take down the silencer he's got him and now Duraccio on the run Ace hey, still trying to hunt down Yamich and there we go the life drain coming out as well and this blood seeker sorry this Beastmaster will end up dropping and gaming gladiators it was a valiant effort to start off the fight but there's no metamorph for 30 seconds it's a melee TV for now celery gonna get coiled up as well in the leash Armel's just buying time for the rest of his team to finish off objectives as they kill off the silencer with a spin from Boom. And Dorazio yeah, to drop in front of his base. There we go. They tap out. Secret. Take game one.